Hi guys, this is going to be part two of the halter top, and um, I have attached the two triangles and folded them over onto the body part, and I just attached them with one of those paper things. You can use a safety pin, whatever works easiest for you, and I'm going to be single crocheting across so attach your yarn and just go across to your other triangle as you can see I'm right in the center at 12 and a half um, as I measured it and then I just placed it there and just laid it nicely I'm not trying to match up stitches or anything else and I'm just going to attach them with a single crochet. So let me try to get back into. I guess you're not going to be able to tell if I do it that way. Let's go this way. Typically, I'd like to do it from right to left, so I'm going to fold this whole thing. I was standing. And I just have the two pieces. And we're just going to single crochet all the way across where the breast meets the belly part. So I just attached If you wanted to on here you could definitely do like a different color band. I've got some red that I've been working with in this. Uh, I only saw I think five colors. There was a tan, a gray, um, kind of play with your work too to make sure you're getting both sides in there. What other colors did I see? Um, hmm. Tan, gray, red, green, blue. You're going to love working with this. It is so easy and it frogs really well. You know, sometimes the textured yarns tend to get tangled up with one another. Well, this one does not. It frogs out really nice and lets you start over. It has lots of support and texture. Um, it's slightly variegated. I didn't see any solid in this brand. But that doesn't mean it's not out there. I just, they didn't have it at my store. I got this at uh, Michael's. And I'm sure, I haven't looked yet, but I'm guessing it might be online at a different place. So just single crochet all the way off, or all the way uh, back to your other side here. Tie off, and then um, let me tell you how long my straps were. And yours are probably going to be different too. But just so you have an idea, 
the straps are 17 inches each and that's just a chain four loop it in chain four loop it in chain four loop it in and um, I'll have a better picture on the thumbnail um, this is what the red kind of pink looks like and this yarn works great for little projects too I was um, doing a little gladiator boot for my granddaughter and it just works up so cute and see it's got stretch so they'll be able to wear them maybe a little longer than using the regular yarn um, how I'm gonna close I didn't say that um you can do a tie on your back if you want like a chain tie um, I don't like knots on my back, especially like when I'm riding in the car or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close it with a button. Just like that. And um, you can secure your button and pull it over your head. Or you can make your button, because of the loop, just loop it on there. Sometimes people have a hard time getting behind uh, their back. So... Um, you can just leave it, do it solid, but that's how I'm going to close the back. And so that's what I meant. If you have a nice stomach and haven't had children, you can have this in the front and have a button closure. So either way, whatever works, um, please subscribe to my channel so that I can make more videos and uh, bring more neat stuff to you guys. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting!